Excuse me, uh, why does it say a-hole table on my bill? Uh, oh, well, you see, this is table A. And, and I am covering the whole table. A whole table, that's what it means. <laughs> Which table's butt liquor? <laughs> it's the ass face in the hat next to the brothers Dingleberry. Please, Mike. This is, after all, our annual ski trip. It's been a tradition for over a 50th of a century. Why do we have to go all the way to Canada? Why can't we just go upstate? Because, Michael, your beloved upstate New York is a tad white trash. It's like deliverance with man-made snow. <laughs> You've stereotyped an entire region because one lift operator said you have a pretty mouth. <laughs> Look, you want to go to Canada, fine. Just, you have to go alone. Alone? Not you wouldn't be the same. You're in love with me. Look, I want to go, but I make $600 a week writing letters on behalf of international political prisoners. Every one of whom would want you to have a first-class ski vacation. Look, if it's about the money, don't worry, I've got you covered. Do not tell me that you wash your hands. I can see the filth from here. <laughs> what? What? Would you rather I not say anything? He touches your food with hands covered in human feces. <laughs> you and Michael, what can I get you guys? I'll have the chicken stir fry. Hold the human feces. <laughs> I'll the feces on the side. <laughs> Five bucks, same as downtown. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honey, I'm home. Oh, look. The queen's too. <laughs> Why are all the good ones taken? <laughs> hey, Mike, you saved the world yet? No, did you burn down the rainforest yet? Still working on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, how did you get... Oh, okay, the elevator's not really broken. All right, damn. <laughs> Got me again. <laughs> so what's the uh, score there? Oh, no, no, I don't keep score with these guys. These aren't real friends. These are just work friends. <laughs> Wait a sec. You, uh, you guys actually keep score of your practical jokes? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm on 200. I'm still stuck at 183s. <laughs> but we've known each other for a very long time. And we're extremely childish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Michael. You're better off you just close a big account today. We're all going out to Barker's for steak. And you're coming with us. Whoopee! Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, Mike. You never want to hang out with my friends from work. It's because I hate them. No. Oh. <laughs> no, you don't. You love us. So get in the cab before I pants you. Hey. Oh. <laughs> 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 Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> All right, stop <laughs> high-fiving. I'll go. Hey, come on. You know you want to. Oh. Come on, do it. Go ahead. Just stick one up there. Come on. Try oh, just a little one up there. Give him some, man. Oh. Oh. Liza Minnelli in a jar of mayonnaise. That's <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, That's good. Oh, hey, uh, uh, give us a round of your best scotch. Uh, For 25 years. Aye. Oh, hey, O'Leary, 25 years. That scotch was made the same year your suit was in style. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. How much is that 25 here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna have another glass of water. It'll be great. Sweetheart, can we get the check when you get a chance? I'll tell you what, since you all ordered so much, I'm gonna give you the scotch on the house. <laughs> ma'am, ma'am, it's weird. All of a sudden, I'm in the mood for some scotch. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, Ewan, put away that wallet. When we want you to pay, we'll go to a better restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Okie doke, divided by six makes it a buck eighty a pop. All right. All right. right. Thanks, Go guys. Ahead. Much appreciated. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, hey, Mike, don't I still owe you that 150 bucks from the other week? I'll just give you that now. You and please, you don't have to pay me back. Jeez, it's, uh... Could you owe me another 20? Sure. <laughs> God, I hated that. It was so emasculating. And now, on top of everything, I owe you $180. Mike, calm down. You don't have to pay me back. Yes, I do. And I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> I keep money in here just in case of emergencies. Very small emergencies. Here, take it. I owe you $178. What else can I give you? Ah, oh, here. Take the bag. <laughs> How about you keep it and we call it even? I know. I'm going to sell you all of my CDs. <laughs> oh. The entire oeuvre of the spin doctors. Yours, yours. Ha, ah, ah. ha. How much are you going to give me for my half of the coffee maker? <laughs> Mike, I've told you the money is meaningless to me. Yes, of course it is, because you have tons of it. Who buys a $2,000 propeller? <laughs> Would you care to give it a spin, Doctor? <laughs> Look, Mike, I chose a high-paying career and you didn't. I, you, you work for charity, which is very admirable. And I'm helping you. You're my charity. <laughs> it's unbelievable how much you suck at making somebody feel better. But it's true. Look, see, I, I, I gave you those shoes. You were barefoot when I met you. I was on the beach. <laughs> Listen, Ewan, I'm not going to Canada, okay? I will go on a fancy ski trip when I can pay for it myself. But, Mike, what no, 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 no. I cannot afford it. And every time you pay for me, it makes me feel like I'm the wife. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. You're not the wife. You're an independent woman. <laughs> oh, darling, no! I just don't know why you think you need another job. Liberty Watch pays us respectable money. $800 a week is nothing to be ashamed of. How much? $750? $700? Yikes. You get $800, huh? We, 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 we do the exact same thing, and you went to community college. I was a double major. <laughs> Look, this is obviously not about money. Of course it is. I'd like to be able to pick up a check once in a while, you know? And if I have to get an extra job, so be it. Gives me a shred of dignity. Hey, new guy! Break is over. You got it, boss. Now get in that men's room and fish out the old urinal cakes. Yeah! Kids got a nice way with the urinals. Great job on the urinals. You got the kick right in the center. You can't teach that. Well, isn't that a lovely apron and hanner? Congratulations on regaining your masculinity. At least I don't listen to the pet shop boys. <laughs> Told you, it's just workout music. Look, anyway, the reason I'm here is there's a part-time job going at my firm that I think you'd be perfect for. We just fired our PR guy and we need someone to write press releases on a temporary basis until we find someone full-time. You don't get it, do you? I don't want you pulling strings to get me a job, okay? I got a job here at Keenan and I feel good about it. For the first time since we moved to New York, I got some self-respect. Mike! Baby vomit in the ladies' room. Chop, chop! <laughs> Anyway, look, I I'm not pulling any strings. It was my boss's idea to hire you. Look, you can work from home, the money's great, and in four weeks you'll have enough to go skiing in Canada. Seriously, though, Mike, that baby vomit's getting a little ripe. <laughs> you defy chow. Yes, I do. And I put a dirty towel on his head. <laughs> so, through a 
its stock acquisition in Litvak Industries, Brooks Dexter has invested in exciting energy solutions for the new millennium. Bravo! Are you as proud of my boy as I am? I don't know. Whatever. See, look, you've worked him into a frenzy. But more importantly, the boss loved it. Ah, but more, more importantly, I got steaks and I got scotch from oh. Scotland. It's called Glen. Glenn working the flogger hogging. 25. Mike, Litvak Industries? We hate them. Liz, hate is a very strong word. We, we don't know them. Maybe they're just shy and we think they're stuck up. They have a history of using child labor. Well, I don't know. I, I had a paper route and that taught me responsibility. <laughs> Mike, 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 oh. Mike, Mike. What happened to your principles? You used to believe in the cause. You were my hero. I'm not coming back to the restaurant. Well, at least let me fire you in front of the other busboys. You started a rebellion. They're starting to look at me all cross-eyed. Not just cross-eyed Xavier. Sorry, right, dude, I got a decent job now. Look at me like that, Lizzie Longface. Oh, okay, celibate Mike. <laughs> Liz, don't you think I've struggled with this too? I know exactly what Litvak does, but nothing that I've written endorses that. I concentrated on their strengths and I went out and I bought meat. <laughs> How do you like yours? With a clear conscience. What is that, about three minutes on each side? <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? Can you keep a secret? No. <laughs> Too bad, because I have to tell someone. Mike's job doesn't exist. I made it up. I pay him to do meaningless work, so he'll come skiing with me. <laughs> Dude, can you invent me a job like that? <laughs> I could be like uh, um, an astronaut or something. No, 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 no. Y you know how people are always telling you that lying is bad? It's a lie. The truth is, they're lying about lying. Man, slow down, my head's exploding. Look, because of my lie, Mike has a little bit of self-esteem and I have a ski partner. I'm forever in dishonesty's debt. Son, you want to lie to someone and take them skiing. I'm your boy. Chow, you don't ski. Excuse me, I'm an astronaut. I think I can learn how to ski. These on. We're going out. What are these? Oh, those are new shoes. We're even now, right? <laughs> Come on, move it. We got some celebrating to do. Oh yeah, what's the occasion? Did you get a new chest hair? <laughs> I actually got four. <laughs> but that's not what we're celebrating. I got in this huge fight with my boss today, and your pal, nonprofit Mike, has quit his job. Don't leave me hanging, bro. <laughs> Mike, you can't quit your job. What, what about all the children and trees and crap? <laughs> Working in nonprofit was great, but I wasn't going to do it forever. This, this PR thing, it's the perfect segue. But I told you it's only temporary. Until you found the full-time guy. Well, flat out, here I am. <laughs> and you said your boss, Jay, loves my work, right? But Mike, the children. <laughs> what are you getting all worked up about? Hey, I'm coming over to your team. We're gonna go on some great trips together. Come here, you British monkey. <laughs> Mike, 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 Mike. Look, investment banking is a dirty business. It's like pig farming with money instead of poo. <laughs> I myself am having a hard time stomaching it. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I, I know what you mean. It's, it's pretty rough. But then I think about the money and it's like I ate a whole roll of Tums. Who's my British monkey? Uh, I, I, I actually don't care for that moniker. Okay, this has gone far enough. I want you all to get back to work. <laughs> you defy Chow. <laughs> Thank you.
Mike, you have got to say something to them. They'll listen to you. No. Okay. You are playing hardball. I am prepared to give you my Richard Grieco shirt if you will just do this for me. Why would I want a shirt with a picture of Richard Grieco? No, dude, it's the shirt that Richard Grieco gave to me. It's his shirt. We traded at the DMV because he liked my Oingo Boingo shirt, remember? <laughs> no. We were standing in line. He had to update the tags on his IROC. I said, all Mr. Right, Grieco. Right. I remember now. Then you traded shirts. Fine. <laughs> all right. Guys, listen up. I spoke to Chow, and he <clears throat> said that he's not going to yell at you anymore. And you're going to get an extra five minute break. And we don't have to wash our hands every time we use the bathroom. <laughs> no, 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 no. That, that is disgusting. I eat here, you know. Thanks, man. Hey, cough up the Greco. <laughs> Goodbye, old friend. <laughs> oh, man, that reeks. Ah, no. No. It reeks. <laughs> Um, hey, look, Mike, uh, I need to talk yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know about the new press release, the Chromium 6 thing. I tried to put a positive spin on it. I called it compassionate contamination. No, no, Mike, stop. You've been fired. Fired? Yeah, I'm really sorry. They're, they're downsizing the company. God. What am I going to do? Well, I, 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 I spent all the money. I, I told off my boss. I... Oh, God, I am screwed. Yeah, I, I know. It's a, it's a really tough break. I can't believe Jay made you tell me. He, he couldn't even face me. Look, Jay's a wanker. What, what you need to do right now is, is go back to your old job and patch things up. There is no old job now, you and... Jeez, don't you understand? I am in real trouble here. Um... <laughs> Two waters, please, gents. I need to be alone right now. Oh, Michael, look. He said he wants to be alone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Clearly, you're our reluctant hand washer. She says, stop it, Pinocchio. You're giving me splinters. <laughs> Mike. I'm not drunk, I'm angry. I'm drunk, you're right. I'm so sorry I lied to you, I'm a lying drunk. It... Don't look at me, I'm hideous. Michael, if you don't leave with me right now, I never want to see you again. All right, fine. Dump me, I don't care. Then smart, beautiful, funny women are a dime a dozen. You know what? <laughs> I still got a dime. Mike! Me and Liz broke up. Yeah, so I saw. Yeah, uh, no, uh, no, there's Mike. that weasel no. who couldn't fire me to my Mike, face. No. Mike, how are you? I'm fired, Schwinkter boy. <laughs> but you already knew that, didn't you, Schwinkter boy? See, I called your boss Schwinkter boy like you always do. <laughs> what is he talking about? I have no idea. It's O'Leary I call Schwinkter boy. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. Why don't you fire me? <laughs> Oh, my God! Oh, God, Jay! Oh, man, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I just wanted to take my friend on a ski trip. I just wanted to take my friend on a ski trip. What? I, I just, just wanted, wanted to take, take my, my friend, friend on a ski trip. trip. Oh, yeah. you. you useless Yankee bastard! Yes, we are! I thought we said 9.30. I thought my plan was flawless. When did you catch on? Come on, I couldn't write anything good about Litvak Industries. So I called Jay to thank him for the offer, and from there, the prank pretty much just wrote itself. Hang on, I gave you $1,200. Which I will pay back to you, minus steak, scotch, and shoes, which I uh, purposely got too small for you, by the way. <laughs> and he just used the rest to take me to Canada. Oh, really? So you'll come? Well, maybe this time we both win. Nope, just me. <laughs> so it's you and 200, Mike 185. <laughs> <laughs>
No, hang on a second. You were on 183. Oh, yeah, I put my tongue in your beer when you weren't oh. looking. <laughs> Fine. Right, enjoy it. Well, I congratulate you on your moment of glory. I'm going to hit the loop. I just wanted to take me friend on a ski trip. <laughs> That's priceless. Yeah. Here you are, sir. Oh, uh, no, 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 I didn't need that. My friend, he'll be right back. The British guy? No, he just left. He said you'd take care of it. Oh, $118. Hey, Chow, did you see Ewan? Yeah, he just left. He wanted me to give you a message. Uh, Ewan 201. <laughs> Is that like Dalmatians? <laughs> It seems like the busboys respect me a little bit more ever since Mike gave them the talk. Of course, I, I can understand if you don't respect me. Don't look at me like that. Okay, I will get the t-shirt back. I'm sorry. Let's never fight again.